Funny. <laughs> Chauncey has a knife. Funny, okay. It's okay, it's me. Daisy, it's like four in the morning. I had an idea. Morning sex? No. What is it? I had an idea how we are going to tell the others about the move. Oh, let's wait till morning. But I want to tell you now. Fine. Let's hear it then. Okay. Well, we could invite them all round, let's say about 10. Morning or evening? Morning. We'll invite them around about 10, we'll whip them up a nice breakfast, we'll have a lovely conversation, and then when the mood is right, we'll tell them. That sounds like a great plan. Hey guys, we love you all enough to invite you around for a home-cooked breakfast feast, but we don't love you enough to be living within a 10 mile radius of you for the next two years. Well, I don't see you coming up with any decent ideas. I thought morning sex was a good idea myself. <laughs> Why have we got to make such a big deal out of it anyway? Because it is a big deal. This is a whole new chapter of our lives we're going to be starting. And I want it to be special. Plus, it might be the only chance all six of us will be in a room together before we go. Yeah, because it's such a rarity to have your boyfriend, your brother, your two roommates and your agent in the same space at the same time. <sighs> Please. Do I have to cook? Yes. Alright, I'll cook. But only if you do something in return for me. What is it? <clears throat> really? Yeah. Fine. Just this once though. I don't think it's going to become a regular thing. What are you doing? Go and brush teeth first. Minty fresh. Shit. Every time. favourite Hannibal Lecter. I'm going to have to go with Anthony Hopkins. Yes, He's Hannibal got this really scary vibe to him, like a proper psycho. How about yours? Well, I'm thinking of the Mads Mikkelsen one from the TV show, you know. He swings it for me. Really? Yeah, there's this sort of brooding dark, macabre humour to his performance, which I think truly captures the essence of how a person like that would behave. Plus, you dancing in that show is hot. Oh yeah, that Claire Danes is a lucky lady. No, he was very strong. He lasted. Who was your favourite Hannibal, Jess? My mother died when I was very young. Well, I like Anthony Hopkins because of his creepiness and twistedness, and I like Mads Mikkelsen because that show is just awesome. Plus, he has the upper hand of just being so. Unbelievably doable. I think it would be quite really something to know. more doable than Hugh Dancy. Oh, yeah, I would let the Mads Mickelson Hannibal stick his antlers in me any day of the week. Mm, yeah, so that is West gross. Virginia. Okay, that's gross. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yes, bakes for the hips, Romy. They all were. What else? But I suppose if I absolutely had to choose, I think my favourite Hannibal would be Brian Cox. Seriously? Yeah, he's just so understated, you know? Like, he's got the creepiness down. He just comes across as more normal than the others. And I think that just makes him so much more creepy. Which film did Brian Cox play him in? Um, Manhunter. I don't think I've seen that one. Have you seen Red Dragon? Yeah. Have you seen Manhunter? Mm -hmm. 
It's a sad trip. Yes. I'll get it, I'll get it. Yes, and now Terry. Poor little cat waiting. Haven't seen a girl run that fast yeah. since Daisy got her pregnancy results back. What? What is your worst memory of childhood? <laughs> Death of my father. It's a joke. Tell yeah. me about it and don't lie. Maybe. Or I'll know. Hey. This is for you. Oh, hey, Jenny. Hi, Jess. So, have you, um, you heard? We certainly have. What do you think? I think it's great. Oh, just great. Um, do you want to come upstairs a second? I have, uh, something to talk to you about. Uh, okay. Uh, what about? Just come upstairs. Uh, okay, um, <laughs> Daisy will be down in like five minutes. Ten minutes. Uh, in a bit. <laughs> oh, hey, Jenny. Daisy. Darling. Food smells good. Oh, well, thanks. I've been cooking all morning. Um, Hugh and Barney are in the living room if you wanted to go sit down. Sounds good. I'll be in the other room then. Okay. Morning, Barney. Hugh. Morning, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. So your dog actually did the tune. That's what he did. It's amazing. It's so it's oh, true. But Bunny, can you give me a hand a second? Yeah. What's that, Ripley? There's a boy stuck down a well. Show me the way. We're dealing with awkward situations. Oh my god, that would be so cute. Don't... Jenny, are you alright? I'm fine. Absolutely fine, darling. Are you sure? Quite sure. Because you seem a little I bit. I'm fine. About. Absolutely no idea. Although she does sort of have a thing for me. <laughs> no, seriously, she does. Oh, well, have you said? No, she has this like really creepy thing for me. She keeps making like sexual passes at me. Jenny, our Jenny makes sexual passes at you. Yeah, she does. That's all the time. Then why didn't you do something about it? She's not exactly unattractive, is she? That's not really the point, is it? You should have tapped that when you had the chance. Easy for you to say, miss. I slept with six guys. Six? <laughs> oh, no, nothing. Just reminded me of something I read. Come on, how many really? I told you, there were six. You see, that's almost certainly a lie. Come on, why didn't you tell me? It's complicated, okay? It's a shitty web of shitty decisions which were constructed upon other shitty decisions which were made as a result of previous shitty decisions. Well, why lie about them to me? I didn't lie, I just more dodged the truth. Ah. You asked me of the guys I dated how many I slept with. The answer is six. <laughs> Why are you still here? Okay then, okay. What about the guys who didn't date? I'm not answering that. Come on, just a rough number, please. If I tell you, will you stop going on about it? Almost certainly. Okay. The truth is... I don't know. You lost count. See, this is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. I knew you would just get... Judgmental and hypocritical about hypocritical. it. Hypocritical? How am I being hypocritical? How am I in any position to possibly be hypocritical? I feel like we should write more. What are they actually arguing about? I think Emmett found out Jess's magic number. 
And to be honest, he's taken it pretty well. Really? How big is it? <laughs> Way to go, Jeff. <laughs> What's your magic number then, Barnabas? Excuse me? Come on, we're all friends here. How many lucky girls have there been aboard the barn wagon? <laughs> well... <laughs> I'd um I I'd, I'd prefer not to answer that one. Alright then. Daisy! No. Even try. No what makes me so untrustworthy? You know, I know everyone else is. Emmett's is two. Jess's is well into the double digits. Jenny's is seven and uh well, you all know mine. <laughs> um excuse me, how could you possibly know mine? You got drunk at Barnabas's eighteenth and told me. Why on earth would I tell you that? Because I asked. Why would you ask? So that I'd have bountiful resources with which to create awkward situations such as this one. Seven. Really? Yeah. What's so surprising about that? I don't know, I just... Well... You thought I was a virgin, didn't you? Well, I'm sorry, but... I've never seen you have a boyfriend or anything, so... I just kind of uh, assume. Well, have you know that I have a very active love life? Is that before or after you fell madly in love with your client's brother? Hmm? I'm not some sort of lovesick teen whose life grinds to a halt the moment she loses the man of her dreams. There are other men out there besides Emmett, you know. Like who? Well, like, like, Bert. Who's Bert? You know Bert? You met him? Frequently. Well, what does he look like? Well, he's, um, he's tall. He has a beard. A beard. A beard. Thick and bushy. Like a real manly beard. And he's big, like Dwayne Johnson. The Rock. Uh, Scorpion King. G.I. Uh, Joe. Mummy Return. Mr. Mountain. Oh, the Game Plan. Transformers. He's not in that one. I thought we were just naming dumb films. Please, carry on. Well, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Why don't you um give him a call and invite him over? Sorry? Yeah, call him, invite him over, I'm sure. We can squeeze him in, get another chair from the garage or the attic or something. It'd be great to talk to him. Right, yeah, okay. Um, I'll just go give Barry a call and yeah. I thought you said his name was Bert. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, yeah, the bacon looks just about ready. Good job. Thank you, dear. <sighs> what a room, Jesus. So, what do you think? Tell them first and get it over and done with, or wait and tell them after? That's a tricky one, because if we tell them first, we'll get the tension out of the way quicker. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let, let's tell them first. Mm. But, it might also taint the food. Like, each bite will just remind them of what we've just told them. They might be reminded of it every single time they eat bacon. And we don't want to ruin the majestic experience of bacon for them, do we? No. Mm, no, I didn't think of that. Mm. Wait till the end then. Mm. How about a compromise? So we tell them about halfway through. That way, they'll have had time to experience the meal and also enjoy our company. Perfect. Mm. No, the perfect thing would be not having to move, but let's not get into that right now. This is lovely, isn't it? Food's ready. <laughs> it's not like I wanted to sit next to my girlfriend or anything. Jesus. Could you pass the cereal, please, Hugh? <laughs> Oh, careful you don't overindulge.
So I was on the phone to my old friend Park the other day. Sorry yes. to interrupt, Daisy. Emma, could you pass me the milk? Can you pass the milk? Okay, fine. Do you want to know why I didn't tell you, Emma? Please, do enlighten me. Because I'm ashamed, okay? Do you think I like going around knowing I've done the things I've done with the people I've done them with? I hate it. I hate knowing that all those guys have had their greasy, dirty hands all over me. And I hate myself for it, so... That's why I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. Though, just for my peace of mind, you haven't actually slept with anyone else here at the table, right? Yeah. What? No. You just said. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did say. You, shut up. you know I can do this via process of elimination, right? What are you talking well, about? it can't be Jenny or Barney because you didn't meet them till a few months Isn't ago. It? it can't be Hugh because, well, he's gay. Yeah, so yeah. that just leaves. What? You. I, you, we, she, you, kitchen. And you and, you and. Bernie's on holiday in Greece at the moment, so... Bernie? Yeah. I thought you said his name was Bert. Right. Well, anyway, he can't make it, so... <laughs> what did I miss? Deep breath. Deep breath. Why did you tell him? Well, he asked. What was I supposed to say? Lie! Always lie. Can we please get back to the crux of the matter? What the hell is going on? Hey, you need to chill. Chill? She's telling me to chill. Yes, and I'm telling you to calm down. Calm down? But you two... It was years ago. Yes, a very, very long time ago. And it was a stupid, drunken, horrible mistake, which we both regretted as soon as it happened. Horrible? What? Huh? Why was it horrible? What did I do wrong? Now? Really? Well, I'm just curious why you chose the word horrible. Okay, no, it was fantastic. It was amazing. You were incredible. Happy now? We don't need to get snippy about it. Uh, sorry to ruin this really rather touching moment, but... I have some more pressing questions I'd like to ask. Like? Why, when and where? Okay, um, it was quite a few years ago. And um, we were at Larry Howell's Christmas party. There was just loads of people, loads of drink. Yeah. And I was going out with Stewie Michaels. Going out. Excuse me? Really? And he dumped me at this party. He was a bit of a dick. I know, right? And I decided to make that uneducated decision and drown my sorrows with vodka, gin, Jaeger, Bacardi, more vodka. Well, I got really, really upset, and we were both really, really drunk. And one thing led to another, and... We woke up in the morning, and we got dressed, and we didn't speak about it again. 
This is actually the first time we've spoken about it in years. And we would prefer if it never got brought up again. Never, ever. No passing remarks. No endless questions. Just let it go. Like we did. Can you do that? Y yeah, I think I'll be able to. I suppose I'll have to. So you're not? No. no. And it was just a one-off thing? Yeah. Yes. Right, um... Uh, not right now. I'm a little bit weirded out, gonna lie. Boy, that was awkward. Tell me about it. I almost forgotten about it until now. Me too. Crazy night there, right? Totally. I used to worry about drinking with you after that. Worried it would happen again. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> Could you imagine if it actually happened though? Like what it would be like now? Now that we have more experience and stuff. Yeah. You probably won't know. Well, you never know it might. You probably won't know. Well, it might, you don't know. Yeah. You probably won't. You probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> you probably won't. <laughs> No, it won't. Well, okay. Jesus, just joking, Jess. Calm down, God. <laughs> What's so funny? What? They're nothing, darling. Everything's fabulous. <laughs> Stop picturing it. Sorry. Oh, damn and blast. <laughs> this bacon is just too thick to cut with a knife. I'm going to need some scissors. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Come on. No, 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 no. Uh, I was watching the Graham Norton show last night, actually. Oh, really? Who was on it? Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've got one. I think we should tell them now. Tell us what. Um, th there's a reason that me and Daisy invited you all down here uh, this morning. Um, me and Daisy have some news. What is it? Are you are you pregnant? No. Oh. You're engaged. No. Are you dying? You you already know what I'm gonna say. So why are you guessing? Sorry. Right. Okay. Um. So. About two weeks ago, I had a university interview. I went really well, thanks. Yeah, um, I don't know if I got in yet, but um, anyway, um, the university was in Bournemouth. Uh, sorry, as in Dorset, not Bournemouth. That's the one. It's a two-year course, and if I was going to commute there, it would be a five-hour round trip. So. We have decided to move up there. Wait, both of you? Yeah. But what about the house? Well, it's Hugh's house anyway. Finally! <laughs> Woo! As you were. It's up to him what he does with it. He might get a new roommate for a while. I meant this place isn't going to be the same without you. Yeah, you guys can't leave. That would be like Monica and Chandler leaving in Friends. Yeah, but Emmett... Monica and Chandler did move away in France. And then the show ended. See, it's a terrible idea. It's not up for debate. We've made our decision and we're moving. What are you thinking, Jenny? I wish you both the best of luck and happiness. Good luck, Daisy and Barney. Good luck. Good luck, I suppose.
think that went rather well, all things considered. I think it could have gone a bit better, maybe less arguing, less revelations. Yeah. I could have done with a whole lot less of that as well. How come you never told me about you and Jess? If I'm honest, I've mostly forgotten about it. I think, as a couple, we don't need to know every little detail of each other's past. Take Jess and Emmett. Emmett didn't need to know Jess's magic number and when he found out, he didn't feel any better about it either. It's a bit deep for you, isn't it? I've had a lot of wine. I see. So, with your magic number... I leave Jess out. I don't count her. So it's really just one? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Just you. No ex-lovers, you're not telling me about them? (laughs) No. I've actually got a uh, surprise for you. Mm, Not really in the mood tonight. No, no, it's not that. It's, um, It's about the move. Oh, what is it? Well, I got a phone call from the uni. And? And I got in. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so proud of you. Isn't that exciting? I mean, it's actually happening. I know. I mean, this time in four months, we'll be living in Bournemouth. Just me, you, a couple of other roommates, but that's student housing for you. Walking distance from a beach, all ours for two years, isn't it exciting? Yeah, yeah it is. Well, we best be going to bed. Yeah, I need to skip late.